Hey kids, this is Mr. H. Welcome to this week's video of Best Brain Series of Incredible Children. Today we're going to be looking at Anne Frank and the world around them. Before continuing, make sure you download the worksheet from the link in the description below. Anne Frank was a German-born Dutch Jew who lived during a very critical time in history. She was born in Frankfurt, Germany, but her family moved to the Netherlands after the Nazi party took control in the early 30s. When the Nazi army invaded and occupied Amsterdam in 1940, Anne was only 10 years old and as a result of her family fleeing Germany in the first place, stateless. For her 13th birthday in June of 1942, Anne was gifted an autograph book. Obviously it was meant to collect autographs. However, she decided to use it instead as a diary and began writing in it almost immediately. Her first entry, just eight days after her birthday, depicted the life her family was living as Dutch Jews living in a Nazi-controlled state. Now, the Second World War is the focus of Anne's life and the driving force behind the majority of what happened in her life. Less than a month after receiving her diary, the German army forced her and her family into hiding after demanding that her sister relocate to a work camp. She and her family had already been preparing for this eventuality. They hid in concealed rooms behind a bookcase in the building where her father, Otto Frank, worked. The set of rooms became known as the Arcturus, or Secret Annex. The entrance was disguised as a bookcase to help hide it from Germans who investigated buildings for Jews in hiding. As a result of going into hiding and being cut off from basically all outside contact, one of the only safe havens that she had for her thoughts was the diary. Had the war not been occurring, her impact on history could have been quite different. They were eventually joined by other families in hiding, the Von Pels and a dentist who was a friend of the family named Fritz. During this time, Anne continued to write in her diary, writing about the experiences of going into hiding as well as personal struggles she faced both internally as a growing girl and struggles with family members. It paints a coming-of-age story, where she learns to get along with her sister better as they grow up and offers incredible insight into the relationships with her other family members as well as the fellow people hiding with them. Her personal growth is incredibly documented in her diary, showing development and regret in some cases, such as when it came to her mother. She initially wrote that she viewed her mother as being seen as not a mother to her, before later anguishing about the fact that she had written about hate in such a hateful time. Now, sadly, her family and friends were eventually discovered, and they were charged as criminals due to their being in hiding and sent to hard labor camps. Anne would eventually die in one of these camps, along with the majority of her family. Only her father, Otto, would survive. He later discovered her diary and sought to have it published, where it would gain worldwide recognition and be translated into over 70 languages. Anne Frank's diary led to her being one of the most discussed Holocaust victims of all time. Her diary has been the subject of much discussion, not just for the picture painted of a family hiding from persecution, but also for the inspiration it provides. Anne, despite all that was happening around her, still believed in the natural beauty of the world and humanity as a whole. One of her most memorable quotes from her diary reads, how wonderful is it that nobody needs wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. This is from the mind of a teenager who spent so much of her life surrounded by fear and darkness yet she could still see rays of light through it all. She and her family hid from the evil that was the Third Reich, and while they eventually were captured and died in the camps they had worked so hard to avoid, the inspiration that her writing provides cannot be dimmed by the dark world that she was stuck in. Her work overcame the evil of the time and became a message for peace and inspiration in the post-war years when it was published. Anne Frank is probably the most important of our contemporary subjects in this series, as she has touched the lives of millions, if not billions, of people through her diary. Others have had impacts on regions, or led as examples of what it means to be a truly amazing person. But the diary of Anne Frank represents the purest definition of hope, and the belief in the best of humanity, at a time when hope and humanity seemed at its lowest point. Anne Frank defines what this entire series is about. In the face of overwhelming odds, hope and belief in the good of humanity can still win out despite its apparent futility. Everyone is capable of hope and seeing the best of humanity. We each have the power to improve the world, and we just have to decide to. Thanks for watching this week's video. Be sure to stop by next week for our video on Mozart. Until next time. Bye, kids.